Welcome back. Today we're going to be talking about firmware updates and specifically on the Epson 5040UV projector. Uh, I understand that the 5050 is on the market now uh, and it has uh, some capabilities that this projector does not, but that's not going to be the focus of this actual um, video. I want it to be informative on how to perform a actual firmware update on your projector as they come out. And we're gonna walk through the step-by-step -step instructions from actually downloading the firmware update, preparing your USB uh, thumb drive, and actually connecting it to the projector and walking through each of those steps. Thanks for uh, checking the channel out. And if you have not already uh, went ahead and subscribed, go ahead and click on that button right up there. And I hope this is informative for you. First thing that you want to do is go to the Epson website to download the projector firmware updates. So the link will be actually posted below and it's easy to find. So just take a look at that and we'll scroll down and uh, show you how to get there now. So as you see here, we have located the Powerlight Home Cinema 5040UB and we just need to download the file and uh, it's USB only at this point in time. Uh, you can also see a couple of the other projectors that actually have the network capability. That's one of the features that I wish that this projector offered because um, having to sit down and download the files and put everything together, it'd be much simpler just to go ahead and have it connected much like the smart TVs and uh, Ultra HD 4K Blu-ray players that are on the market at this point in time. So all you have to do is go ahead and select the file and the download will begin. So the file is there and you wanna make sure that nothing else is on your jump drive, just the one file and that one alone. This is very important. Simply connect the USB drive into the correct port, which is also labeled service. Once you have this installed, you're going to want to make sure that you disconnect the power from the projector, and then you will hold down the power button on the side of your projector, and you will continue to hold it down while plugging your power back in. And you continue to hold. I had to cut the camera while I was doing that, and it is going through its setups and everything and the firmware update will start whenever this light starts to blink down here and I'm going to continue to hold it while I wait for the blinking light to go through its uh, progress. So the firmware update has started as you can see by the blinking lights and it is going through its firmware update as we speak. When the projector turns off, the firmware update is complete and it's ready to be turned back on to check. But before I do that, I'm going to remove the jump drive from the back. To check the update, what we're going to do is we're just going to go ahead and power the projector on as normal. And I don't know if I have it at this angle. Let's try this one. There we go. We're going to power the projector on, and as you can see, it's starting up as normal. And where you can see the Epson logo coming up. And we're going to head into our settings to check everything out as soon as it gets ready. All right, we should be able to any moment now. There we go. Zoom in on these settings really quick. And then we're just going to go down to Invo. And we're going to look at the version. And as you can see, the projector update has taken place and we are reading the last three letters, the 
114, so we know that the projector has updated its firmware. So there you have it. Overall, it's a, it's a pretty simple process and uh, easy to do. Anybody could probably do this and figure it out. You don't have to have like a, a supreme technical expertise to do this. Uh, basically to walk through the steps again, really quickly, you download the file, transfer it to an empty jump drive, make sure it's empty. That's very crucial because of the way that the firmware update works. Um, you plug that into the back of your projector in its service USB port, and then you make sure to unplug it Press and hold the power button on the side of the projector while plugging the power back in and keep pressing that power down. That puts it into the mode that it's gonna read the firmware update. When you see all the lights flashing within, I'd say 10 seconds after that, go ahead and release that and you can watch it go through the entire process. This is only gonna take you maybe, let's, let's just say five minutes just to give you a general idea, uh, maybe a little bit less time than that overall. It's fairly simple. You can walk through and double check and make sure that your firmware update did take. Two ways to do that is check the firmware version, which I did before you do the firmware update, and then check it after the fact. Uh, you can get more information about what this firmware update actually does um, from the Epson website. One of the things that I did read about it is it has to do with the way that the projector starts up and, and then stops, something to do with the way that the mode, and it might have something to do with the bulb, because I will tell you this, recently I just replaced the bulb, and although I've had this projector for a few years, I think it, uh, I did the bulb replacement right at maybe a little over the two-year mark, maybe close to the two-and-a-half-year mark, um, but when I looked at the total amount of time that I had actually spent viewing on the bulb, I did not even get close to what Epson said I should have in regard to hours. And I was using the eco mode most of the time. Uh, when the bulb was getting ready to go out, uh, it started to give this like flickering type thing, kind of like what you would think of um, a candle would do. Uh, and you would notice it in different parts of the picture, like there was a, uh, it wasn't uniform anymore. There was a consistency that was beginning to get lost. Um, and so I had to upgrade the bulb, I had to pay around, I believe I paid 250 for that. Um, and I got the genuine Epson bulb. There are other third party bulbs out there that you can replace that with. And I may do a video at some point and talk about that experience because I ended up ordering two and sending one back. Um, and talk a little bit about that. But overall, the firmware update is easy. I thought this would be a good time to post a firmware update video, being that this is a new firmware update that's come out in the last three weeks, uh, and we're coming to the end of 2019 in December. And then also, because I'm not finding a lot of videos that show an actual firmware update take place from start to finish on this particular type of projector. So I hope this was helpful. If you found it uh, informative, uh, let us know in the comments. I appreciate it. And uh, until next time, thanks for tuning in.